Good morning, one and all. Today's topic is a stable multi vibrator. A stable multi vibrator. So, what is a stable multi vibrator? The a stable multi vibrator is also called as a free running multi vibrator. That means in this multi vibrator, we are having two quasi stable states there is no stable states in this multi vibrator we are having two quasi stable states and zero stable states there will not have any stable state in this multi vibrator so today in this session we will explain about that i will explain you about the basic operation of a stable multi vibrator before going into this concept just we will go for the basic concept how a transistor will work and everything okay so first of all if you take a transistor this is base terminal this is the collector terminal and this is the emitter terminal this is q1 transistor when the collector is given to supply VCC and emitter is grounded and at the base I am applying the input voltage okay when the V input is less than 0 0.7 this 0 0.7 is the cutting voltage of base and emitter terminals what will happen whenever the input voltage is less than 0 0.7 or the cutting voltage which is not sufficient for this transistor to conduct that means the transistor will be in off condition then the collector and emitter terminals will be open it will be in this equivalent form you now the transistor will be in this form this is the equivalent circuit this is emitter terminal and this is the collector terminal rc whenever the input is less than 0 0.7 the our collector and emitter terminals will be open the output across this collector will be equal to vcc all the vcc will be flow through here that means when input equal to zero or low that is less than 0 0.7 the q1 transistor will be off collector and emitter terminals will be open then output voltage equal to vcc similarly if you apply an input voltage is more than 0 0.7 what will happen this is emitter terminal this is grounded and at the base i am applying an input voltage you can see here when the v input is greater than 0 0.7 this is q1 transistor at the collector terminal i'm collecting the output okay when input is more than 0 0.7 that is more than this cutting voltage 0 0.7 then transistor q1 will start conduct then collector and emitter terminals will be short circuited then the equivalent circuit will be like this this is collector terminal and this is the emitter terminal we are collecting the output across here whenever input is more than 0 0.7 it will conduct then the collector and emitter terminal will be short circuited so all the input vcc will be flow into the ground the output voltage equal to zero or it is called as a saturation voltage yeah. that means when input is high high or one that is v input is more than 0 0.7 q1 transistor will conduct collector and emitter terminals will be short circuited then the output voltage is equal to zero or saturation voltage this is the basic working of a transistor is it clear everyone no we will go into the concept known as a stable multi vibrator so 
a stable multi vibrator circuit diagram we will discuss now a stable multi vibrator we have two transistors q1 and q2 transistors here both emitter terminals are grounded these are the emitter terminals which are grounded and the collector terminals are collect connected using collector resistance rc1 here this is rc2 both collector terminals are joined together and given a supply voltage of vcc now the bases of q1 and q2 are cross coupled to each other that means the collector output of q1 transistor is connected to the base of q2 transistor through a capacitor c1 through a capacitor c1 and again the collector output of q2 transistor is connected to base of q1 through a capacitor c2 okay that means here we are using two capacitor for cross coupling that is why it is called as ac coupling we are using ac coupling because of using capacitor this is the collector terminal first transistor this is collector terminal of second transistor this is the circuit diagram of a stable multi vibrator all of you clear about the circuit diagram now we will go into the operation of this a stable multi vibrator whenever you design a circuit like this and given a supply voltage when you given a supply voltage now the both the transistors q1 and q2 will try to conduct okay let us assume that q1 is on and q2 now q1 is on what will happen when a q1 is on the collector and emitter terminals will be short circuited and the collector output voltage of the q1 transistor will be the saturation voltage that is zero now the capacitor c1 is having that saturation voltage which is applied to the base of q2 transistor which makes this q2 transistor to be in off condition which makes the base of the q2 transistor to make into off condition so the collector and emitter terminals will be open now the collector voltage will become vcc that is q2 is off then the collector output voltage is equal to vcc okay now the capacitor c2 is having the vcc voltage now the capacitor c2 is vcc voltage and c1 is all having saturation voltage now the capacitor c1 start charging through the vcc through through r1 and c1 now it will start charging through r1 to c1 okay now the polarities of the c1 will become positive and negative now the capacitor will start charging from low voltage 0 0.1 0 0.2 so on it will start charges and whenever and it is connected to the base of q2 transistor so as it is increasing from 0 to more voltage whenever it crosses the cutting voltage then the q2 transistor will enter into on state okay now the q2 is on so whenever transistor q2 is on the collector and emitter terminals will be will be in short circuited and output voltage is equal to the saturation voltage q2 is on then the collector voltage is saturation voltage okay this saturation voltage is present in the c2 which is applied to the base of q1 transistor which is not sufficient for the q1 to conduct now the q1 transistor will get into off state now q1 is in off state 
So what will happen when the Q1 is off? The collector and emitter terminals will get open. So the collector output voltage will become VCC. Okay. Now the capacitor is having more voltage C1 and C2 is having less voltage that is saturation voltage. Now the capacitor is going to start charging through VCC through the path R2 and C2. Now the polarities of the C2 will become positive and negative. And this process will repeat continuously and generate the pulses. Okay. Here you can see the Q2 state. First it is in off condition. Then it enters into on state. Again it will enter into off state. This is a continuous process. That is why it is called as a free running multi vibrator. That is why it is called as a free running multi vibrator. Here we have not giving any triggering pulses to change the state of the transistor. Okay, this is the time period of T1 and this is the time period of T2. That is complete one off and on states of a transistor is called as a time period of time period of the transistor. The time period of the tree transistor is T equal to T1 plus T2. So how we have to derive this total time period? We will see that one. By using the formula of final and initial formula, V final, so the VB equal to V final minus of V final minus V initial into E power of minus T by RC. By using this formula, we can find out the total time period. Here we have to take the on transistor condition. Let us take, let us, I'm taking that Q2 is on, then the base voltage of the Q2 will be saturation voltage that is almost zero. And I'm taking the final value, the maximum value is VCC and the starting or initial value of this multi vibrator is minus VCC. Now substituting these formulas in the above formula, we will get it as VB2 equal to VCC minus of VCC minus of minus VCC into E power of minus T by RC. So I am taking the condition at now VB2 equal to from this formula we can know that when the transistor is on the base voltage is saturation voltage then it is zero it is equal to VCC minus 2 VCC into E power of minus T by RC. Now I am considering the time period T equal to T1. So substitute T equal to T1 then it will become it as 0 equal to VCC. I am taking it as common. 1 minus 2 into E power of minus T1 by RC. In place of T I am substituting T1. Now simplify this one. We will get it as 0 equal to 1 minus 2 into e power of minus t1 by rc that equal to 1 equal to 2 into e power of minus t1 by rc. This implies that 1 by 2 equal to e power of minus t1 by rc. Okay, now simplify this one and taking log on both sides we will get the time period t okay so this will be equal to taking log on both sides log on both sides we will get it as log of e power of 0 0.5 equal to log and exponential will get cancelled it will get it is as t1 by rc log and exponential will get cancelled it, it will get like this minus 0 0.69 equal to minus t1 by rc the minus and minus will get cancels okay then t1 equal to 0 0.69 into rc similarly Similarly, when T1 equal to T2, 
then T2 equal to 0 0.69 into R C. So total time period T equal to T1 plus T2. That is 0 0.69 R C plus 0 0.69 R C. This equal to total T equal to 1.38 R C. This is the time period of a, a stable multivibrator T equal to 1.38 into RC. We can also find out the frequency, frequency equal to 1 by T. So substitute time period here, 1 by 1.38 into 1.38 into RC. So the frequency equal to 0 0.72 by RC. Is it clear everyone? Thank you.